This is still Lion's Den. The last entrepreneur in the den is Ogunti Moses, a student of Federal University of Agriculture, Akure, here with an innovation that gives travelers a side hustle. He is hoping he can get one or two Lion partners to ride with him. Hi, Lions. My name is Moses. I'm a co-founder at Travela. At Travela, we are building a peer-to-peer -peer logistics platform that will allow individual travelers to be able to move packages on behalf of other people. The entire logistics industry currently sits on a 5.5 trillion market size in revenue, while Nigeria itself alone sits on 1 billion, 150 billion in Nigeria Nera as a total market size revenue. Now, moving total package of 700 million packages only in Nigeria, in which we personally are targeting moving 50 million packages with our platform. We take 20% commission on every packages moved via our platform, where we connect a traveler with a package. I'm here to ask for 20 million for 15% share equity for traveler. Just as we have seen what Airbnb has done, decentralizing the market in travel and um, lodging industry, we are about to see what Traveler will do, decentralizing the market in the logistics industry. Thank you. Traveler, a web platform that connects travelers to businesses and individuals who want to send packages across long distances, is what Ogunati Moses is offering. He is asking the Lions for 20 million Naira to buy a 15% share of the growing business. But Adenike Oglisi is first to query the baby-faced entrepreneur. How old are you? I am 23. 23? Yes. Okay. You look like you were 16. <laughs> eh? When did you start and how many customers do you so have? So we rolled out in January 2021 okay. this year to validate our market. And then in a couple of two months, we had over 100 users. So, they would so in the three months with 100 users, how much income have you made? So we've made 500 US dollars in Naira, that's 200,000 Naira. Okay, so have you fully developed this app? We are currently running using our web application, online application, so we run our entire service currently using our website but we are transitioning to our mobile application by the end of this month so why, why are you in a hurry why are you impatient you've worked on your web platform where you made about hundred a thousand naira you're working on your app which is now quite my have kinks here and there I'm wondering why you're short circuit in your process because if the app was ready, you would have a better, much more robust presentation so that we can know where the pieces are. So, why are you impatient? Okay, I think there, in this, what was there with that? Our, mobile, our web platform was performing exactly what our mobile application would do, but manually. On our mobile application, everything is completely automated. So if we can carry out the entire process manually, successfully, then we will be able to significantly do it seamlessly. It, it looks so, like we're not communicating. Okay. Couldn't you have waited just a little bit to put the app together and then present? A rocky start for Moses, as Dan Ngarem immediately picks on his impatience and forwardness in coming to the den with an unfinished product. Kiari Booker seizes the moment to get a better understanding of the business so far. Are you concentrating on the domestic market or is this global? This is global. Okay. You know, what if the person giving the package is a drug dealer? So one of the things that we are establishing is that if you're flying and then you're taking a package to fly, we have at every airport our support staff which is expected to screen packages before you take them as an individual traveler. So you would have place a staff at every international airport in the world? Yes, sir. Interesting. What is the breakdown of your 100 users? Are they all Nigerians? Yes, they are all Nigerians. Why is it only Nigerians when your target is the whole world? 
We actually intended to validate our markets here in Nigeria first. So you have to validate and establish a traction here. Yes. Before you go out. Yes, sir. Interesting. So, so Moses, um, let me just try to understand this business. Um, who does the last mile? So if someone, if I'm flying from London to Lagos, and I say, okay, let me invest in my journey, pick up a package, you pay me whatever, hundred thousand naira for bringing the package. I get to Lagos Airport. What do I do? I give it to your, your agent at the airport, right? Okay, it's on two points. The receiver can be waiting for you standing, waiting for you to come down and give him his package. But if there's a disruption in that journey like that, you can uh, request our support staff to come pick up the package for you. Okay. Support staff at the outgoing airport. Yes, you also sir. need support staff at the incoming airport. Same thing, sir. So there are a lot of people involved in this business. Because the thing is, since it's the same airport, now people move out from an airport and they come in from, a, from in say, an, another airport. No, I, I understand. I'm just, I just want to see how automated the business was. Best businesses are businesses that don't involve people, right? Um, from, um, from end to end, yeah? So you, you've talked about Uber, Booking.com. There's nobody anywhere. You don't have the booking guys at the, at the hotels waiting for you or the Uber support staff at either end of the car. Tell me about verification. So the verification, now we've incorporated a three-way tracking for monitoring packages, and we're using BVN API verifications from Paystock integrated into the platform. The also, BVN is whose? Who's? Yes, the, the BVN API is from Pay, is from Paystock. Why don't you go directly Direct to the to, owners? Yeah, you either go to NIPS or NI, NIMC, uh, and NIMC has released the APIs because the payments gateways can be cutthroat. They would charge you an arm and a leg. If you're not careful, you would be dropping money on the table and you'd be working for others. You get the picture? Yes, sir, I get the picture. I get the picture, sir. Moses, honestly, I like you. You're an intelligent guy. I think you've got a great idea, by the way. You're young, you're fiery, you're, you're full of energy. There's a business here somewhere later on, but it's nowhere near that. Right now, it's purely an idea. A good idea, but it's an idea. It still needed to be thought through a little bit more. For that reason, Unfortunately, I wish you the best of luck, obviously, uh, but unfortunately, I'm out. Like some of my colleagues, Paul had mentioned, you're a little bit too early because there are other variables that might impact on what you're talking about. For example, I wrote down here safety, insurance. Have you thought of insurance? Are you partnering with any insurance company in case something goes wrong within this circle? Have you thought about that? I'm working on it, sir. You're working on it. So you see, most of the things are work in progress. Um, fortunately, I'm out. A double stop on the road as Paul Wanibe and Dan Ingram alight, summing up the young entrepreneur's pitch as a premature visit to the den. Does Polaji Balogun also feel the same way about Traveller? This is quite early stage. Yeah. You know, however, um, you know, always in investing. Yeah. We back two things. Yeah. And they're both, you know, people issues. Okay. We back competence and we back character. Yeah. Um, it's very personal. Just tell me a bit about your family. My background? Yes. So I come from middle class family, if I can say that. My father is not completely educated. My mother, same thing, she's not so educated. So we are, we are five currently in the family. So I am the first son. And then I could have gone to work instead of going to the university, but I chose to go to the university and then walked my way so that I can be able to afford to pay myself and be able to pay for this school. So I volunteered for a couple of companies and then even got to work with a company in Poland. So basically I used all of those income to learn about entrepreneurship, product development, so that I can build a product that many other people can use and then can be of value. Moses, 
Sir? I'm going to make you an offer. Mm -hmm. It's very early stage, but I think that there are clear values that we can bring um, in helping you take this to the next stage. Equally happy to do it on my own, but there's at least one lion here that I'd like to get involved as well. We'll give you 20 million Naira that you want, 10 million Naira in equity, yeah? 10 million Naira as a convertible, right? Which will convert at your next round. Um, we give you that money, but for 26%, and you get at least two, you know, of us, and there might even be a third lion who might want to come along. Moses, I am in for the same 26%, and at all the terms specified by Apology. Do you understand? I want you to understand, because I'm gonna go in with them, but I want you to understand. Yeah. I'm standing in, bye. I'm also going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer for one third of the 26%, so I'm in. Is there anybody you can call? Yes. Do you want to make that call? I oh, appreciate it. I think you yes. should. It's it should better. Do, I think that. You do you understand? Should. Yeah. So that you make that call, so that you make an informed decision. decision. Yes. With a higher equity share of 26%, he seeks counsel beyond the den. Chris, we have an offer. The offer is 26% share equity for 10 million, plus another 10 million as convertible, with a discount on first valuation. What do you say? Uh, okay, 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 okay. That's nice deal, nice deal. Thank you, bro. The entrepreneur returns with a decision. So, we've come to a conclusion that, okay, we'll go with 26% share equity, as Elia said, but the discount on the convertible note will be 10%. So I'll explain to you why that doesn't work, yeah? If we converted it all today, yeah, we'd probably end up with half your company, yeah? Um, by waiting till that next round, we're actually really being supportive of you. So I would say to you, that's the deal, and what you get in terms of these people standing by your side is worth way more, you know, than this money or this check that we're writing. If you're investing in me and my company, you've taken a long walk to believe in us. So I think I appreciate the offer and I will take it. It's a pleasure to have you on board. Well done. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. It's a hat trick of success for Bunati Moses. And it's evident that giving away an extra 11% equity is not enough to douse his excitement for the journey that lies ahead. I'm more than excited. More than excited, like, excited. <laughs> Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Ecobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner.